Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. We just have a very short in and out. Uh, this is a follow-up. Uh, I did a video yesterday uh, with regards to the number of children that had uh, disappeared or been injured or indeed lost their lives during lockdown. Uh, and one of the examples I used uh, was Alfie Steele. He was a small boy who was effectively treated abominably by his own mother and her live-in boyfriend, for want of a better word. Um, he eventually died from the cruel uh, treatment uh, at their hands. I'm not going to regurgitate what happened. I think um, it was uh, just, you know, it was very, very um, sad and anger-inducing when I read it the first time. I'm not doing that. But I will say uh, this is the follow-up to it because today that pair, um, Dick Howell, the boyfriend, Carla Scott, the mother, uh, were sentenced um, it is, uh, I think it's, a, it's an adequate sentence to begin with, uh, provided that they do not get parole. Um, she, the mother, uh, was given 27 years and the, uh, the, the, the boyfriend uh, was given 32 years. I think it's a good start. I think these are the sort of sentences we need to be imposing on people who do these kind of things to children. Uh, it's not they're not as long as I'd like them to be because chances are they'll only do half that sentence um, I think if it was given uh, but without the, the you know the chance of parole I think would be more or less getting there in terms of justice uh, and it's nice to see the court for once taking this thing seriously uh, and, and it, it not only punishes those who do it uh, but it also sends a signal it sends a strong signal that this is the kind of punishment you're gonna get so I'm going to just stop it there. Uh, that's it. It was just to announce that uh, just in follow up. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, and I do hope that um, everybody does keep an eye out for the children that um, maybe are you know, vulnerable and when nobody particularly is looking after them. Be their advocate, be their eyes, be their ears. Look out for them, listen for them, make sure they're OK. And for heaven's sake, don't feel terrible about voicing concerns. Thank you. And until next time, goodbye.